Okay, literally all of my footage from yesterday is about food. So pizza and cooking. You can separate it from the normal six series? Um, not, not by much, really. Oh, I can't turn the camera around while I'm recording. The ingredient is ham! Pizza number two! <laughs> tomatoes, Mushroom, red pepper, cheese, tomatoes. Garlic. Garlic, parmesan. And... I don't know, peppers. Parsley? Really close to bacon. Sweet, the camera but yet here. not. No, ham, not quite. Ham pizza. Tonight's cooking music. All right, cauliflower in the pot now. Bring to a boil. All right, here we go. Here's our chicken number one. <laughs> Use right hand. Right go. Three to four minutes per side. side. Like footage from 11 years ago. Hey, so Seth Godin made this really, really interesting blog post uh, yesterday or today talking about creative approaches to situations like seeing yourself as a producer, a director, a star, a star's assistant. He talks about being a producer is creating the value. Like if you're a YouTuber, you play all of those roles. You play the role of producer, director, star, and star's assistant because a lot of times you're creating all of the content. I was thinking about that. But then if you're like directing a movie, you need people for grip, you need people to do really, really simple things. In that situation, you're just sort of an assistant to a small but important part of a project. I was wondering if you are doing anything creative right now, like this video stuff is all me. It's all me creating things. But when I'm in FCCLA and I'm creating a conference like I did in the past, well, actually, I'm not doing it right now. I did it already. That's a creative approach. I'm producing value. But if I was on Move It, right, when I was on Move It, that was just me being on a kid's TV show. That really wasn't me doing something like I wasn't creating the show. I was showcased on it. So I recognize this creative approach in multiple areas of my life when it comes to stuff that I've done in the past. My job right now is kind of like being a star's assistant. I'm just assigned to a task that you have to do. Kind of like when you work in retail. God bless people that do that. It's so demanding. You're just responsible for a small but important part of a project. That's kind of like bringing somebody coffee or or helping somebody with clothing and makeup. Like it's like on a, sh on a show. Like do you see when you have multiple roles? Like where in life are you all four roles? Like where are you cr creating, showcasing, working and directing and where are you just doing one of those roles but not all of them seth godin says the key he thinks is to f find leverage and have the guts to produce value rather than simply want to get picked all the time um get stuck in something really simple that's easy i guess his point is to challenge ourselves in producing value like you can look at some of the people that have two jobs right they produce value in one thing but then they showcase something else there are a lot of examples of that. You can see it everywhere. Songwriter, too. You have to write songs and play them and be the showcase, be the star, because you have to play the songs. You're not waiting to get picked to sing. You're creating, and people find your content and your value. So that was my thought for you today, in addition to all my cooking footage. Because <laughs> it's just so much cooking. Keeping you TFTBA. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Create with tools. Value. Goodbye. Bye-bye.